Good morning, everyone. My name is Kelly Ross, and I'll be giving this webinar this morning. Our webinar is called First Steps for Field, and Field is our new Ag Expert uh, online cloud platform. And so just a couple housekeeping things. Uh, if I could ask everyone to mute their mics on their side for right now. We'll have time for questions at the end. Muting the mics allows uh, less feedback coming my direction. And so to get started this morning here, what we're going to be doing here is our agenda is going to be looking like this. We're going to go through creating a subscription, uh, go over some of the field icons, uh, adding a field, drawing boundaries, um, creating an input, creating an operation, um, a storage location, and a harvest. So to get things started here, what we're looking at right now is our main sign-in screen for field and also Ag Expert Accounting. And so if you already have a subscription created, you would put in your email address and password and you would sign in. For the purpose of this webinar, what we're going to be doing here is we're going to be doing the sign-up procedure to show you guys how to do that. So we'll click on sign up now. So that requires me to put in an email address and some other information here. So I've already created an email address here. Password will make it real simple here for today. First name. Last name. Then we need to accept the terms and then we'll click on create an account. So what it's going to do now is it's going to shoot my Gmail account an email here. And at that point in time, I'll retrieve it from my Gmail account. Basically what that is is just to show that you're not a robot, that you are actually going to be retrieving the email, that kind of stuff. So we'll go over to our inbox here and we'll just wait for a minute here, 30 seconds or so. Hopefully it comes through. There we go. So we'll click on our uh, do not reply email confirmation here. And then now what we'll then do is we just need to confirm my email. This will bring us back to fill out the rest of the actual, actual subscription portion of the um, field. So then now we'll put in our display name. address this webinar is going to be about 20 25 minutes long so it's not a really long webinar just to get everyone started showing them how to actually create a subscription And of course, if you don't have something filled out correctly here, it does give you a little red reminder there, just like you saw with my phone number. So we'll save this. So then now this allows me then to choose from Ag Expert Field or Ag Expert Accounting, which is our accounting platform, of course. Uh, for this webinar, we're going to be going into Field. So now we're, we've created a subscription, we're in the software now, and basically I'll kind of walk you through a little bit of the screens here within the actual software. So if you look in the top right hand corner here, we've got a little people icon. This basically tells me my account, allows me to change I believe my password and my also my personal information here then too. Then of course you have your sign out feature here too, where you'd be signing out from it daily. And then we'll go over to the question mark or help menu. So this allows me then to access our uh, knowledge base, directly email, and our 1-800 number. 
and what's new also then tells about past versions of the field what was put into each version is what the what's new does and then in the top right hand corner there's also our year so right now we defaulted to the crop year 2019 so as you can see here I could add an old year I can add a new year and then on the left hand side here uh, it lists my actual if I had if I was an agronomist and I had another um, operation shared with myself it would list both operations here so to kind of get things started in the flow, uh, to get the flow going here, what we're going to do is the first thing you always want to do is probably create a field. So we'll go to fields on the left hand side. And then now from here we'll click on add field. And then within this option here now it's going to come up and it's going to ask me what type of boundaries I want. So basically you have three different options for boundaries. You have the ability to, um, I believe, to this one here if you select this one you click in the corners and you'd have to draw your boundary just by using an, uh, basically straight lines otherwise we also have the ability to import a shape file from various pieces of equipment and also then this one here as the one I kinda like is this works good for Western Canada if you click on a quarter section right in the middle of it it's gonna highlight the outer boundaries of the actual quarter is what it's gonna do and of course you can move them around and adjust them somewhat so for the purpose of today we're going to choose this bottom option and now we need to go and uh, locate my location so we'll go right by my hometown here where my uh, my land is actually located so Davin so basically yes I just typed it in the top left hand corner and from there we can then move over find the actual quarter I'll drill down here a little bit so here's my actual quarter. So from the previous boundary option that I selected when I click in the middle, it should then highlight the outside of the actual boundaries. And what I could also then do is tighten things up a little bit more and uh, take some of my sloughs out here to get my acreage a little bit more accurate. <clears throat> I think you see you get the drift on how this is done here. Basically just clicking on the little um, circles there and bringing them over to where we want them to uh, tighten up to and as you can see on the far right hand side it's then affecting my total area as of right now we don't have the ability to take out the actual sloughs in the middle they are currently working on that uh, but for right now it's just the ability to tighten up the outsides so I would, I would if I would I would probably spend more time and do that here and I would do it closer to here and wherever I'm not, uh, where, wherever it's not arable farmland. So then it allows me to give it a name here, so then we'll put in here um, and it's owned and another good feature it does too by selecting the, the, the quarter section it actually gives me my legal land location. I could put in some other notes here, maybe the year I purchased it um, anything and anything can go in the notes. So for right now, I'll just click on save. So then now I've populated one field in my new field program here. If I had 60 fields, I would see 60 fields going across here. Uh, we just have the one field, as you can see here. So what we're then going to do is we're going to do an activity to that one field. So let's go and do a uh, seeding activity. So we'll click on activities on the left hand side and then go over to add an activity and here's a listing of all the various activities I can do. So we're going to start off with a planting operation and then now it wants me to choose my field. And so it also allows me to have a status of planned or completed. and it also then allows me then to um, so then now I'll add one of my uh, seed in place here so it allows me to add the seed, the seed on the fly to all of our options here allows it to be done on the fly so the seed the fertilizer so we're gonna add a seed in place here choose and let's go and seed some barley
And then now the variety. Let's go AAC purpose. Purchase price, let's put it at $12 a bushel. Seeding rate, let's say 90 pounds per acre. One bushel equals, I believe it's around 48 pounds. Harvested in bushels. It also allows me to, um, for the seed and other stuff, it allows me to select a custom color to associate it. So when you basically you just select the color if you know the seed. So we're just going to select this here. This isn't required. And then some notes maybe on where I purchased the seed from, that kind of stuff. So we'll save this. So then now I have my seed listed here. And it has my legal land. And basically you'll do the same thing for fertilizer. Allows you to add it on the fly. We'll add a fertilizer in place here. And let's just call it um, barley blend, and it'll be dry. And so we'll say, oh, I don't know, the cost is $500 a ton. Application, let's say maybe, oh, I don't know, 70 pounds per acre. So then it gives me my cost per acre at that point in time. Also allows me to fill in the nutrients at the bottom here then too. On whatever type of blend it was. So we'll save this. So then now you carry on and we'll put our seeding date. We'll try to make that a little bit more accurate here. And the same thing then too. You could actually add equipment. And you could also add labor to it too. So this would be done all on the fly too. Just similar to what we did for the seed and fertilizer. And then the weather observation, what it comes in is it comes in as today's weather actually. It doesn't have the ability to go back and look up this date. So we would just put in here, oh, I don't know, let's put in here 18 degrees. And then basically what we'll then do is we'll save this. So then now we have one activity in place. So what we can then do now is we could actually we'll go straight into maybe a harvest activity but before we do a harvest let's go ahead and add a storage location here so on the left hand side we'll go to inventory storage locations add a storage location call it bin one capacity let's go 10,000 bushels All right, let's make it 12,000 And once again, it allows me to um, to pinpoint where that actual um, bin is located. So we'll go to my farm here. And we'll say it's right in the yard here. So it allows me to drop a point there. And then I could then save this location, save this new bin. So now we have a bin in place. So then we're ready to do some harvest, a harvest activity. So we'll go back up on the top left hand corner and we'll go to activities, go to add, we'll jump over into harvest. I know we missed out on fertilizer and we missed out on spraying and swathing. And we're jumping straight to harvest. This is more of a demo to show, just to get a person in, show them how easy it is to work with. Allows me to choose my field and list my crop that's on that field right now. So it has my legal land here, my yield per acre. So let's go and say 70 bushels, oh, 770 bushels. And then now it allows me to add to my storage location. So as you can see, we've already added in that storage location. 
Uh, if I needed another one, I would just click on Add Storage Location, and it would come up with that same screen that we just looked at beforehand. So we'll select the one that we do have created. And then now it allows me to put in that actual um, tonnage or that actual bushels. And of course, if there was more, if it, if it flowed into more than one bin, uh, it would allow me to add another bin, and another bin would be listed here then too. And so we'll update our date. It was a late harvest for everyone around this area here in Saskatchewan. And then once again, the equipment would allow me to add my combine in place. It would allow me to assign it to who it was that actually harvested it. And the weather then too. So we'll just say 10 degrees. And then basically, so now we have in place here we have a planting and we have a harvest in place too so to kind of summarize what we all did here so far is we created a subscription we went over some of the field icons in the top right hand corner added a field um, drew the boundaries of the field created an input for a seed created an input for fertilizer creating a planted operate planting operation and we then added a storage location and at that point in time we also then created a harvest operation and so that's kind of in a very quick format here uh, just to show you how uh, our our field works for our new cloud field works that'll conclude our webinar and I'd like to thank everyone for joining in on our webinar and look for other webinars to come out um, Hopefully this got uh, this this helped everyone to understand how to create a subscription, get into the product, and just start using it uh, the way it is. How easy it can be. Um, yes. So once again, my name is Kelly Ross, and this was first steps for field. It's uh, solid, simple, and built for the farm. Thank you for attending, and have a good day.